Hi, good morning and welcome to Leicester Elam's YouTube. My name is Pastor Dave Holmes and it's great to be with you. And, uh, don't forget to check us out on our Facebook site or our website or even uh, follow us on our YouTube channel. Press the notification button and uh, you know, you'll get a, the video as it comes live. Well, it's great to be with you today and I want to do something different today. I want to do what I believe God, the Holy Spirit, has been saying to me for the last uh, two or three days, and I can't get away from it, so I just feel that I need to be obedient to what uh, God is saying to me. You know, so often Paul, uh, when he wrote his letters to the churches, he would start by commending their faithfulness. And I just, I just, feel God wants to say that to you today, to commend you for your faithfulness, to, to commend you for your love for all the saints, to commend you for the many decades uh, that Elim Lester has been faithful to the gospel of Jesus Christ and the many lives that you have touched and the fruitfulness that you have had, you know, and I felt that the Lord wanted to just say well done to you and to lift you up and to encourage you in him and to say that, um, that there's more to come, that there is much more to come and that as you remain in him, uh, you will become fruitful vines. And I felt God wanted to commend you for doing the small things, you know, so often um, we can get commended for doing the big things, but, you know, it's the small things, the little things that mount up to change people's lives. And I've been here just uh, eight months now, but so often I bump into people and I say to them, oh, I'm the I'm new minister at the church uh, over there. And they'll say, oh, I used to go there. I used to go there as a child. And uh, only last week I bumped into somebody and I said to this guy, you know, yeah, I'm the minister across the road there. He says, oh, I used to go there as a child. I always got a great welcome. Well, I, I want to commend you for the way that you have sown into the lives of people in Leicester and for the many lives that have been touched, the hundreds of people that have come to know Jesus Christ through your ministry, through your faithfulness. Your faithfulness to the children, your faithfulness to the youth, your faithfulness to one another, your love for all the saints, your love for those uh, who are less fortunate. I believe that God wants to commend you. I believe that God wants to uh, want you to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servants. But ahead of us is still more to come and what God wants to do. You know, so often Paul would encourage the church that he was writing to. You know, and we pray for you daily. We pray for you daily. And God has put you in our hearts. And I thank God for bringing us to this, this church. So... I'm going to read a little bit of a portion of scripture from uh, Colossians this morning. And then I'm going to pray. So here, here from Paul's words to the church at Colossians. So we have not stopped praying for you since we first heard about you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding then the way you live will always honour and please the Lord. And your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. All the while, you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. We also pray that you will be strengthened with all his glorious power, so that you will have all the endurance and patience you need. May you be filled with joy always thanking the father 
He has enabled you to share in the inheritance that belongs to his people who live in the light. For he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son, who purchased our freedom and forgave our sins. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. For through him God created everything in heaven and on earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdom, rulers and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. You know, I pray that you will be filled with the joy of the Lord. I pray that you will know what it is to receive the riches of heaven, to have opened to you the mysteries of the word of God by the leading of the Holy Spirit that leads us into all truth. I pray that your knowledge will be extended in him, that your relationship will grow in, with him in, from strength to strength, that you will know an intimacy with him that is so special, that you will know with you the presence of God, that you know within you that the Holy Spirit dwells within you and empowers you <laughs> to be the child of God that God intends you to be. I pray that you will know his wisdom and that you will know what it is to know the joy of the Lord expressed both in you and through you to the world around you. That you might be so fruitful in him. That those things that you put your hand to will prosper. That you will know the favour of the Lord, that, that the Lord will keep you in good health and in strength and in sound mind. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Praise God. Now, I know that may have been totally different to what you may have been expecting or maybe have heard before. But sometimes, you know, God lays something upon our hearts that we need to do. And I just feel that God wants you to know, well done, well done, thou good and faithful servants of the Lord. <laughs> Keep your eyes upon Jesus. Yeah, the author and the finisher of our faith. Speak to you soon. God bless.